There's a chance that you've searched feverishly through the items you've collected over the years hoping to find something that the Antiques Roadshow would love and which would also be worth a fortune. However, few of us are lucky enough to discover any treasures hiding among the old newspapers and videotapes. But in March of 2018, that's exactly what happened to one lucky woman in France. A little digging yielded an incredibly rare piece of art, which had been tucked into a shoebox in an attic. And when the vase in question went to auction, it fetched a quite incredible sum of money. After all, it's not every day that a stunning item dating back to the Chinese Qing Dynasty is discovered. That phase of imperial rule ended in 1912. The vase itself, however, appears to originate from a period in which the Qin Long Empire was ruler from 1735 to 1796. The Qin Long Emperor came to the imperial throne when he was just 24 years old and he oversaw one of the largest empires that the world has ever seen, one that's said to have spanned a mind-boggling 3 million square miles. You might think that being in charge of such a huge area would involve quite a lot of conflict in order to maintain that supremacy. And you'd be right, but the Emperor wasn't just a military man. He also had a penchant for preserving Chinese culture You see the Emperor himself was an art lover and thanks to him Chinese Imperial collection the personal art museum of the ruler grew ever larger Indeed while the hall itself had been around for centuries Qin Long was particularly invested in expanding and curating it the Emperor amassed everything from jade to mirrors and bronzes and had a team of consultants to help him acquire pieces and at around that time artworks looked arguably even more magnificent than they ever had done before a new color palette had been imported to China from Europe with the tone subsequently used likely elevating already beautiful objects to the realm of sublime centuries after the Qin Long Emperor's reign though one piece of particularly stunning Chinese art would be found in a French attic nestled inside a shoebox and perhaps aware that the vase's apparent age and Chinese style may well mean that it had value the owner decided to take the piece to an auction house in the French capital of Paris to see exactly what it could be worth and here's where the story takes a couple of interesting and surprising turns after having transported the vase to Sotheby's in Paris the woman in possession of the item handed it over to Oliver Valmier the auction house's specialist in Asian arts and in June of 2018 Valmier would tell BBC when the owner put the box on my desk and we opened it we were all stunned by the beauty of the piece Sotheby's employees would also find that the vase is decorated with the symbol of the Qin Long Emperor making it over 220 years old Valmier added of the object to the BBC this is a major work of art as if we had just discovered a Caravaggio and the piece itself is arguably as rich hued as any work by the old masters it's highly decorated too complete with intricately painted details of birds and deer among other animals but despite the items magnificence the owner herself wasn't enamored we didn't like the vase too much the BBC is quoted her as saying and that's even though the vase is said to be one of only a handful of its type ever made indeed Sotheby's claimed in its lining for the piece that such elaborate and challenging designs are exceedingly rare on the Qing Imperial porcelain then in June 2018 the vase went up for auction with an estimation of 580,000 to 823,000 dollars and if the random attic and if the random attic find had sold for even the lower end of that range it would still have been a highly impressive feat as it happens though there was one final and incredible twist to the tale when the vase received its moment in the auction room the bidding went on for a marathon 20 minutes with severe hopefuls attempting to grab a piece of imperial Chinese history then as the hammer dropped for the final time the singular vase had sold not for the estimated half a million dollars but a staggering 19 million dollars that final bid meant that the piece hadn't just broken its estimated value it had smashed it making the vase the most expensive item ever sold by the French arm of Sotheby's it was a record-breaking multi-million making event and all because one lucky lady decided that it was time for a clear out so it may very well be a good idea to go antique hunting in your own attic this weekend after all you may just find something that ends up changing your life and that notion is not beyond the realms of possibility either 
as the French vase owner isn't the only one to have found a fortune in old ceramics. In 2017, for example, a millennium old Song Dynasty bowl was sold for a truly astounding $37.7 million. The ceramic piece, which is thought to have been originally intended for cleaning calligraphy brushes, was bought by an anonymous individual. The winning bid fetched a record sum for the sale of a piece of Chinese porcelain at Sotheby's. And in 2010, another vase from the Qinlong era was auctioned in the UK. The intricately formed piece went on to fetch an incredible $57 million. However, the vase's sale was controversial, and not just because of the whopping sum involved. That's because the unnamed buyer allegedly chose not to pay their bill, leaving the ceramic languishing in the not collected pile for more than two years, despite auctioneer Pete Bainbridge's best efforts to unite it with its new owner. There was a happy ending for Bainbridge, though. In 2013, the Antiques Trades Gazette reported that the vase had finally found a home, albeit with a different customer, for around $26 million. And while that may not be a record-breaking figure, it's still a huge amount of money. But what have the vase found in the French attic? Well, the name of the new buyer remains a secret, although it's been revealed that they're Asian. Meanwhile, the previous owner is likely very happy indeed with the turn that her life has taken. So whether it's an unassuming old bowl or a vase that nobody really likes, it seems that precious artworks have a habit of popping up and changing lives in the process. Keep hunting then and one of those lives may just be yours. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.